The Burj Khalifa isn't just tall, it's a masterclass in solving a thousand engineering problems with one elegant revolutionary system. The secret isn't just stronger materials, it's a fundamentally smarter shape. Let's start with the plan. That iconic Y shape isn't for aesthetics alone. It provides multiple benefits. It offers great floor plates and views, but crucially, it creates a stable three-winged footprint. This connects directly to the building's core innovation, the buttressed core. Imagine a six-sided central core, the structural heart. At three of its six sides, buttress walls, like the legs of a tripod, radiate out to correlate with the building's wings. This system creates a tremendously stiff, torsion-resistant structure that behaves like a single, monolithic body under wind loads. And the wind was the primary enemy. The design underwent extensive wind tunnel testing. The result? The building's sculpted form. Each tiered setback isn't arbitrary. As the tower spirals upward, each setback wing confuses the wind. Vortices cannot form coherently down the height, dramatically reducing dynamic wind forces and the potential for uncomfortable sway. Now, building it. The foundation is a massive reinforced concrete mat, over 12 feet thick, supported by nearly 200 piles driven over 160 feet into the ground. Pro tip from Site Engineering. The concrete mix was a critical innovation. They used a high-strength, low-permeability concrete mix with ice to manage the extreme desert heat during pours, ensuring workability and ultimate strength. Pumping concrete to such heights, over 2,000 feet, required specially designed pumps and a meticulous, continuous process to prevent any cold joints. Every detail, from the cladding designed for Dubai's heat to the sophisticated jump form system used for the core, was a custom solution. It redefined the limits of the possible.